everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be ranking my Natasha Denona palettes. I've done this a few times with other brands and I feel like it's time to do Natasha Denona. So I have uploaded ranking videos of my Tom Ford quads and also Charlotte Tilbury palettes. If you guys haven't seen those videos, I will link them in the description box down below. But I felt like it was time to rank Natasha Denona. So that is what we're going to do today. I'm super excited. I've got them all pulled out here. Took me a minute to kind of arrange them and section them and put them where I want. Rankings are very hard for me. They just are. A lot of decisions go into picking least favorites to favorites. Because there's different sizes of Natasha Denona palettes, I am going to divide them up by size. I have nine of the mini size palettes, which these are the mini five pan palettes that are normally like $25. And then I have 11 of the midi size. So I have 11 of the midi size. Actually, one of them is only full size. So I have 10 midi size and one full size. So I'm just gonna include the full size in with the midi. And the midi size are these palettes. These typically retail for $65. So I felt like that might be the best way to do it. In case you guys were interested in which ones were my favorite out of the minis and which ones were my favorite out of the midi size. So we're gonna start with the mini size and like I said, I have nine of them. So in ninth place is this one. So this is the mini sunset palette. Here's the thing about this palette. Number one, I just don't use it very often. It's just not a mini size that I reach for all that often. And number two, these two shades right here got hard panned. So you can kind of see right there where it's hard panned. And that's kind of frustrating. She just has such a good formula that it, that's kind of a disappointment that these are getting hard panned. So this one is definitely number nine. And yeah, it's just not my favorite palette. Not my favorite. Okay. Number eight is the mini gold palette. And this is basically because I just don't use this color story that often. That at the end of the day is the reason why this is number eight. I really feel like these two shades right here, this one and that one, the one on the end, are really unique shades because like that olive green is really beautiful and it has such a gorgeous undertone. I love olive shades. And I have others in my collection that I like a little bit more than this. Plus, what I've noticed with this one is that you have to apply it with your finger to get the best effect from it. And I have a hard time applying shadows with my fingers because I have nails. So typically, I like to use a brush. And this shade is just kind of a bugger to apply. So it's not my favorite. It's number eight. It's not a bad palette. Like, I feel like the quality is there. It's just not one that I reach for when I'm wanting that type of color story. Okay, number seven, I can't really hold this one up too far because the shade broke. Uh, number seven is the Mini Love Palette. And I think my biggest disappointment with this is this shade right here. This shade is a wah, wah, wah. Like it is so just, ow, she missed the opportunity to make that shade so pretty. And when you put it on the lid, it doesn't really have much to it. And I mean, don't get me wrong, it's an okay palette. Like there's nothing really wrong with the formula. Okay shade, but I just feel like there was a missed opportunity to make that shade really beautiful. And this shade right here, I have a hell of a time getting it to blend. The last time I used this palette, I had to take off my look because this shade blended okay, but as soon as I went in with this shade, it got muddy and patchy on me really fast. I had to wipe off the look and then switch palettes. So that is the reason why this is number seven. Number six is her newest mini size. This is the mini Biba palette. My biggest complaint with this is that there's not enough shimmers. There's one shimmer in this palette. Now don't get me wrong, I could pull shimmers from other palettes, I can. And the shimmer in the middle does go well with all of these shades. The shade on the end is her creamy powder formula, which is kind of cream to the touch and kind of applies like a cream powder formula would. And typically she never puts that cream powder formula in her mini palettes. So it was unique, but I feel like it was missing. I don't feel like we needed like both of these shades, like this one and this one. I didn't feel like we needed both of those. And I would have rather had another shimmer because if there was another shimmer in here, 
I could just use this and you know take it with me and create different looks and would just from this palette but because there's only one shimmer it just doesn't have a lot of versatility so that's why it's in sixth place now we're getting into my top five favorites so these ones I struggled with because all five of these I really love. Number five is the Mini Glam, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with this palette, and I really love it. So this is a palette that I highly recommend. This palette, in my opinion, has a gorgeous olive, and pairing it with this beautiful kind of uh, taupey shade is just so pretty. Ah, oh, this is the palette that I reach for when I wanna do an olive look. This shade is so gorgeous. And that's what I was feeling like the mini star was missing out on. It was this combination and then having this beautiful shade. Ah, all three of these together are just gorgeous. And the mattes that she chose, perfect for this whole palette. So definitely, definitely love the mini glam. Number four is the mini Metropolis palette. I love this palette. I have created some beautiful looks using this palette. In fact, I'm gonna put an image up here on the screen of an eyeshadow look that I used creating this palette and I was wearing a gorgeous shirt that like really paired well with this eye look. This palette is so gorgeous. This yellow shade is perfection. The only negative about this palette is the shade here on the end because I just don't feel like we need it. I would have preferred to have another shimmer to go with this or something besides this shade. That's my only complaint, but these four shades are so pretty. Number three is the mini Zendo palette. I have used this palette so many times, so many times, and I've loved every look that I've created with this palette. I love all of the shades in this palette. My complaint is here we have again, another kind of bone shade. Like that you could use to kind of blend out the crease. I would have preferred to have a darker matte, um, but when I'm wanting to build up any like intensity on the outer corner or something, I just use the purple, which works good, but I love this palette. I love it, and it has the most beautiful rose gold, which has gotten hard panned on me, which stinks. It has the most beautiful rose gold and silver. I mean, that rose gold is so gorgeous. And then pairing them together, oh. So pretty, so definitely love the mini Zendo. Now, number two on the list is the mini Nude. This is probably the one that I've used the most out of all of my mini palettes from Natasha Denona. This is the one that I feel like is just that everyday makeup look. And it has those everyday easy colors, lots of versatility. You can build them, you can just, it. The, all of the shades blend, the shimmer shades are gorgeous. This is one of the most used that I have, and so it had to be in second place. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. So then in first place, my number one favorite mini palette from Natasha Denona, which if you guys watch me on a regular basis, you will not be surprised, but that is the mini retro. This palette is everything that I needed, but I didn't know I needed. These shades are so unique to pair together, but what I love about this shade is the corresponding mattes with the shimmers. So for example, you have this shade that goes with this shade and this shade, then you have this matte that goes with this shimmer. And there's so many looks you can create just within these five shadows and have totally different looks. Normally when you have a palette with five shadows, they all kind of go together. You can pair these shades together, so like mixing these two mattes together, phenomenal. Like it's just not, it's a palette that I never would have ever have put together, but I fell madly in love with it and it is my favorite and it's the most unique like mini palette that I have in my collection. And so that is the reason why it is my number one favorite mini palette. So let's move on to the bigger size. I have 11 in this category, and the first one is actually a full size. So this is called the Trio Chrome palette. Now don't get me wrong, this is all colors, right? I bought this palette to review it and of course, I knew I would never pick it up again because I just don't use all of these bright colors. But the thing that kind of 
was a little weird about this palette is that you didn't know what the meaning was. Is it a trio, meaning having three duochrome shades, or are the shades actually trio chromes? It was kind of confusing because these shades are more duo. They're not they're not a trio. They're not a, a multi-dimensional. But overall, there's really nothing wrong with this palette per se. It's just not a palette I ever use. And I knew it going into it. I bought it only to review it and that is it. So that is the reason why it's number 11. Okay, number 10 is the Zendo palette. I do not like this palette. It is such a weird color story for me. And I know I keep saying this, like I, I think I might've mentioned this in my review, that it was one of those palettes that I might need to pop out the shades and like rearrange it and to make me wanna use it because I'm a very visual person. And if a palette is arranged in a weird way, it throws me off and I can't feel like inspired to use it or I can't feel creative when using it and this palette is so confusing and I just don't like this palette. There's a lot of the shades, like for example, this shade, I just don't think it's all that pretty on the eye. I mean, I I understand, I mean, that's what the shade looks like and it's, you kind of have to pack it on to get it to pack a punch and I just was not super thrilled with this palette. Not my favorite of hers and that is the reason why this is in the 10th spot because if if it wasn't for having that trio chrome, this would definitely be my absolute least favorite from Natasha Denona in my entire collection. So this is probably my least favorite besides the trio chrome, but I, in defense of the trio chrome, I only bought that to review it. I didn't buy it for my own personal use. So I kind of can't really count that one, but out of all of my mini sizes and the midi size, this is my absolute least favorite Natasha Denona palette that I own, period. I Next up, we have the Sunrise palette. And again, I just don't like these tones. And I wanted to like it, but I do not like this palette. It is just not for me. I don't feel like there's anything wrong with this palette overall as far as the quality goes but it's just these shades, I don't ever use them. They're a little bright for me, and therefore, that's why it's in ninth place at the end of the day. This shade is a gorgeous purple, though. This one right here, which is called Aster, that one is a really beautiful purple. It's like a periwinkle purple, and I'm kind of a sucker for a periwinkle, but other than that, not my favorite. Let's talk about the Metropolis palette. Actually, I think the Metropolis is a full size, isn't it? I might have misspoke earlier when I said I only had one full size. This is also a full size of Natasha Denona. Now let me kind of explain why this is in eighth place. I have a very hard time using the cream powder formula, meaning that it's like this shade right here. It's a creamy, it's like cream to the touch, um, and, but it's a powdered formula. I have a hard time using it because I have a hard time building the tone and it's like you can pack it on and pack it on and pack it on and you never change the depth on most of the shades. Because this palette is filled with the cream powder formula, I find myself never reaching for it. That is the reason why I loved the mini Metropolis palette because it gave me kind of this color story taking out the oranges, but I was able to use the gold and those really beautiful blue shades and turquoise shades. I apologize, my battery died on me. Okay, let's get back into the Metropolis. Okay, so here's the thing. This palette has a lot of like multiples of everything. So even though there's a lot of multiples and kind of repeats of shades, just different tones, my biggest issue with this palette is the cream powder formula. This palette has a lot of that formula in there. So of course, it, I'm not gonna love it, but there's a lot of people that love this palette and it's, I mean, I've heard so many people say it's their favorite palette and there's a lot of people that love the cream powder formula. Now, I like a cream powder formula, but just not Natasha Denona's all the time. There's some palettes that I have liked it, but this one was just not my favorite. We're all different, we all like different things, and that palette was just not my favorite. So in seventh place, we have this one. This is the Love Palette. And there's really, again, nothing wrong with this palette. I just don't love this color story. And I wanted to love it because I have started to wear more pinks, but I don't love it. They're a little bit too 
strong of pink tones for me to enjoy it. I am not really into the really bright or like dark deep purples and I don't really like these kinds of like hot pink colors. So that is the reason why it's on, it's number seven. It's just that I just don't use it very often. This palette for me, when I put it on, I feel like it's that color story that makes me look like I have a bruise. Like I look like I've, I've been punched in the eye and I just don't like that tone. It's just not comfortable for me to wear those types of shades. So at the end of the day, just not my favorite color story. So in sixth place, we have the uh, Glam Palette. This one is in the dark. So she launched two of these. This is the darker one. These shades for me are just a little too dark. They're just a little too deep. And at the end of the day, that's just based on skin tone. So I love the blush in this though. The blush is really beautiful and I love the way that it looks on my skin. But as far as these shades go down here, even though they are gorgeous textures, they're really um, kind of silky to the touch, like the way that they apply. It's just really beautiful. But it's just it's just that this palette was made for a deeper complexion. If I use these shimmers, I have to pair them with a lighter matte because these are a little too dark for my complexion. That's the only reason why it's sixth place, just for that reason, but it's a great palette. Okay, just like with the mini size, the next five palettes I'm gonna talk about are some of my all-time favorite midi sizes from Natasha Denona. So all five of these, they're top five, right? They are some of my absolute favorites. So the first one I have here is the Pastel Palette. This is her newest one. And I really love this palette because it's so unique for my personal collection. I don't have any pastels in my collection other than like the mini pastel palettes from Huda Beauty. And I'm not trying to be mean, but the formula was not that great. This formula is perfection and the pigment is there. And she created one amazing pastel palette. And even though this is not going to be a palette that I'm gonna reach for all the time, but when I'm wearing that particular outfit and I want those pastel shades, this is the palette that I'm gonna pull out and know that I'm gonna create one beautiful eye look with it because it's dependable, the shades are gorgeous, and I personally love it. Now, you guys know that I'm not super colorful, so when I use this palette, I don't, I don't like mix all the colors together. So when I did my review on it, I basically kind of paired like the mattes to correspond with the shimmers, just so that they were a little bit more wearable. And all three of the looks were just beautiful. And I've used this several times since I reviewed it. And it's a great palette. In fourth place, we have the Face Glam Palette in the lighter. So these tones definitely work better for my complexion. Even though I love the blush from the dark palette, I really, I use this palette mostly. So I use this highlighter and I use these shades. I love this palette. The versatility, the cream blush is not my favorite formula. It's a little bit dry, but as long as I kind of warm it up with my finger, I'm able to pick it up and pop it on the cheek like this, just to give a little bit of something. I mean, it's not a super strong blush, I got my hair in my face. It's not a super strong blush, but it does give you some color to the cheeks. It's definitely not my favorite blush formula, but I like having it all in one here in this palette. So that's the reason why it's in fourth place. Number three is the bronze palette. This is my favorite fall palette. This is always the palette that I reach for when it's the fall time and I'm ready for those autumn colors. Oh, I love this palette. It is just so good. <sighs> so good. So good. Okay, I'm done. I'm done obsessing. All right. This was very hard for me. These final two, I would say, are pretty equal to me. It was very hard for me to pick which one I liked more, and so, because I really like them both the same, but I made my decision based on which palette I used the most. So, in second place is the Retro. I love this palette. And no, I was disappointed because these two palettes look nothing alike. This is the Mini Retro. When I heard she was launching a Retro, I was like, what? I was flipping out and I was ready, but it, you know, these color stories do not really even remotely look the same. So there's that. 
but I love this palette. I love the tones in this palette, and I would say I use this section right here the most. Well, I don't know. I use that shade up here too, but regardless, I love this shade, and I don't love a cream powder formula, okay? But I love this shade right here, um, Go Go. Gosh, it's such a beautiful, gorgeous shade. I have used this palette over and over and over, and I love it. So that is why it's in second place. But my number one favorite Natasha Denona palette, my most used palette, which is the reason why I put it in the number one, because I use this one more than the retro, is the Glam. This Glam palette is what made me really fall in love with cool tone eyeshadow looks. I always liked warm tones. I was more comfortable with warm tones. I have a warm complexion. I was always into the warm tones. But this and, and a few other palettes really started to allow me to kind of come out of my warm eyeshadow look shell a little bit and start playing around with cool tones. And I love this so much. And I, 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 it is like my number one out of everything here, okay? So out of all the big sizes, the little sizes, out of all my Natasha Genona palettes, the Glam is my number one favorite. Now, this palette could use more mattes, I will say that, but the shimmers in here are so gorgeous, and what I like about it is that it gives you direction, so they're not named, right? So the names are giving you direction, so they're very beginner friendly. For example, this first shade right here is center eyelid, meaning you're gonna put it on the center of the lid. This one right here is the outer eyelid. You're gonna put it here on the outer eye. Like, I love that she gave us direction with this. Love this palette. That is my number one favorite Natasha Denona palette. Yay! And the retro, I love the retro. I mean, it's a gorgeous palette. So that's it, you guys. Those are my Natasha Denona palettes ranked. Sound off down below in the comment section. What Natasha Denona palette is your favorite? I'm so curious to hear your thoughts. And what is your least favorite? So give us your absolute favorite and your least favorite. Let's just have fun in the comment section. You guys always have the best information. So let's have a conversation. Let's chit chat. Sound off down below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.